Hello friends, this is Nurmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to do a 15 point FAQ on the Moto Z2 Play. So we have been getting a lot of queries on a uh, uh, lot of features on the Moto Z2 Play. So we thought we'll do a 15 point FAQ and clear all the doubts we have and uh, uh, we'll uh, talk about the device in detail. So we have already done the gaming performance test and also did the camera review of the Moto Z2 Play. Now we'll do the 15 point FAQ on this device. So without any further delay let's get started so first step let's see what all sensors are available on this device so this phone uh, is a premium mid-range phone and this phone comes with all the sensors included it has accelerometer uh, compass sensor gyroscope proximity sensor and ambient light sensor so all the sensors are included on the moto z2 play now let's talk about display so uh, we have a 5.5 inch screen size it's a full hd display and we have an emulate panel so that's something really good from the company you can see the viewing angles are really good the touch response also feels quite good and we have a 2.5d glass on this display and this is protected by Corning gorilla glass so we have adequate protection on the display for small scratches so the display is pretty vibrant crisp and colorful display because it's an emulate panel next up let's talk about the sim cards so this phone comes with dual sim card support and it's one of the few phones in this price segment which does not have a hybrid sim card it is uh, a dedicated sd card supported so we have two sim cards and a dedicated sd card for expanding the memory and this also comes uh, with support for volte and you can see we have inserted the geo sim card and you can see uh, 4g volte is supported on this device now let's talk about the storage so we have 64 gigabyte storage available on this device and uh, close to uh, 54 gigabyte is available to the first uh, boot and that's kind of really good storage and you can also expand the storage via the dedicated sd card available so if you want to expand the storage there is also a sd card support available and you don't have to compromise on the sim card slot next the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner is located on the front panel and you can see this is the fingerprint scanner it also acts as the home button and you can also do some gestures with the fingerprint scanner now talking about the fingerprint scanner experience so we'll quickly demo the fingerprint scanner experience so we have just uh, turned off the device and uh, you can uh, see it's really responsive and does the job really well in terms of unlocking the device so it's a really fast and responsive fingerprint scanner and this fingerprint scanner also can be used uh, for multiple tasks uh, you can configure it from the moto app so moto actions allows you to have this one button now uh, where you can uh, use the fingerprint scanner as the back and home button so that's something really good on this device next step let's talk about the software so that's one of the important aspects about buying a moto device you get the latest version of android so we here we have android 7.1.1 that's the latest version of android and uh, you'll be probably getting the next version as well so this is one of the really good aspects and this has stock ui no customizations whatsoever it has the basic uh, ui what you get uh, when you uh, want to try the stock ui and uh, th there's only one app included that's a moto app which provide some additional options like moto uh, uh, actions uh, display action options included and moto voice is supported so these are the only options available other than the uh, basic stock ui now talking about the performance so this phone comes up with the snapdragon 626 uh, octa core chipset it's clocked at 2.2 gigahertz and coupled with 4 gigs of ram and this is one of the really good uh, performing uh, uh, chipsets and the performance of this device is really good no uh, issues uh, with the performance it's a uh, lag free experience and uh, even if you push harder for heavy uh, task it performs really good and uh, also we have uh, uh, the gaming performance which is again really good on this device uh, we have te tested the gaming performance of this device and found this uh, device to be really good in terms of the gaming experience you can also see our dedicated uh, um, gaming uh, review of this device to get an idea of how good the performance is in terms of the gaming and another important aspect about this device is it's really thin so holding the device in uh, gaming is really good and it's pretty slim so it's really great to hold uh, when you are doing gaming on this device so next step let's talk about the anti-2 benchmark score so you can see it's a snapdragon 626 it's slightly improved variant of the snapdragon 625 so the benchmark score is almost similar there uh, not much of change uh, slightly increased value 68 388 is what, what we got on the moto z2 play with 4 gigabyte ram now next step one of the important aspect how good is the camera performance so we have a 12 megapixel uh, rear camera it's a dual pixel autofocus laser autofocus and we have dual tone dual led flash and on the front panel also 
we have a dual LED flash and a 5 megapixel shooter. Now if you look at the camera interface of this device, you can see it's a typical uh, Moto interface with uh, uh, pretty simple UI. There is 4K recording supported and uh, you can also see some of the options, panorama, manual mode is included and its uh, interface is quite fast and easy to use but it does not come with loaded with uh, features like filters and other options but uh, the camera UI looks quite good. Now talking about the uh, camera sample taken with this device, we have already done a detailed camera review. You can also check out that. The camera samples are quite good. The daylight shots have come pretty good uh, but uh, the low light experience was not very impressive but definitely uh, above average performance. So all in all the camera won't disappoint most of the users if you're looking for a good smartphone in the sub 30k price point. So next let's talk about the speaker. So a lot of users have been asking us uh, where is the speaker located in our unboxing video also we got uh, uh, some queries on where the speaker is located exactly so similar to the Moto G5 plus it has a front facing speaker so this is the speaker unit and this also acts as the earpiece as well as speaker and the speaker performance looks quite good uh, the front facing speaker so it is quite good for uh, listening to music even if you kept the device flat uh, it won't uh, hinder the performance of the speaker so that's one good thing and the speaker performance is definitely good on this device. Next uh, we will uh, talk about the OTG. So this device does come with OTG support and you can connect to USB pen drives, uh, computer peripherals to this device using the USB-C type port. So this device supports USB-C. So you need to uh, buy a, a OTG cable with a USB-C type port. So once you have got that you can connect your uh, pen drives and other computer peripherals to this device via OTG cable. So next step the notification LED. So this device does not come with a notification LED, instead it has this Moto display. So if you were interested in getting notifications, you need to turn on the uh, Moto display. So you get all the notifications on the display instead, you know, instead of uh, having an LED uh, notification light. So this does not come with a notification LED. And finally, let's talk about the availability and the pricing. So this phone is priced 2799 and available exclusively on Flipkart for online buyers. And this also is available across India in all retail stores for the same pricing. The device will go on sale on June 15th and uh, uh, this will be available for Rs. 2799. So that was the detailed FAQ video on the Moto Z2 Play. Hope we have answered almost all of your queries. If you have any questions on this device, do drop a comment in the comment section and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.